Hey guys, so I was just going to um, show you the simple Laradoc setup. Um, initially, when I tried this, I was using a multi-project approach for one Laradoc installation. Um, combined with trying to use SQL Pro with Laradoc, it led to some complication, which um, was some time wasted. So now I just go with the simple um, one Laradoc installation per project I'm working on. And I can have all the configuration I need from there. So I've just installed um, a new Laravel project. We just go through the Laradoc ins instructions. Um, there's one thing I change in the .env file, and that's the MySQL version. So um, if I change that to 5.7, instead of the latest, which is 5.8, we should avoid some issues with uh, SQL Pro. Uh, so now that's set, Docker Compose up. Okay, they will come up. We'll then, um, I'll just open the Laravel environment file and we'll set the, um, the host. And we'll set the Redis to host as well. Okay, so now if we navigate in the browser to localhost, we should see it there. Um, we can edit our uh, template to check it is working as expected. And there you go. So you can just create one of these for each installation. You could only have one up on this port at any one time. So you'll either use something like um, Laradox, you'll use the stop command. Um, I'll show you here. You can run this one, stop all your uh, containers. Um, I'll just show you SQL Pro connecting, root and root early um, default connections on localhost. If you connect where, um, we're now using the MySQL, the 5.7 version. Um, connected on the Docker container. So, yeah, if I show, we can stop these. You can change the port. That may be something for another cast on um, a container. And if we refresh these, that's down, and you could then um, create one elsewhere. Uh, I think I'll stop it here, guys. Cheers.